In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of the cosine square root of x all over square root of x dx. Now, this is going to turn out to be just a straight u substitution integral. So we're going to start with looking at our function and finding the inside most part. Okay, cosine of square root of x makes that square root of x the inside. So that's what I'm going to let u equal. So we're going to let u equal square root of x. We're going to take the derivative of both sides. So du is equal to, if you need to calculate that derivative um, by hand so that you can verify what it is, go ahead and hit pause in the video. I'm just going to go ahead and give you that derivative. It's pretty straightforward. 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And then I'm going to go ahead and solve for dx, multiplying both sides of the equation by that 2 square root of x. So 2 square root of x du is equal to dx. Now we're going to come up here to our original um, problem and we're going to start making some substitutions. All right. Now we'll have the uh, cosine square root of x, so we'll replace the x with a u. Okay, so cosine u. All right, now we can go ahead and substitute square root of x for u here on the bottom. All right, but when we substitute for our dx, we'll have a 2 square root of x du. We'll have that leftover uh, square root of x, so then we would have to put u back in for there. So since I am going to have a square root of x that needs to be crossed out, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that as square root of x. And then substituting in, I'll have 2 square root of x du, substituting in for that dx. Alright, so then that's going to allow me to cross out those square root of x's. Alright, that 2 then we can pull out in front. So we'll pull that out in front, and then I'm going to have the integral of a cosine u du. And at this point, definitely straightforward. We can integrate cosine as being sine. So I'll have a 2 sine u plus c, and then replacing u with what is square root of x. We'll have a final answer of 2 sine square root of x plus c. So definitely just a straightforward u substitution there. Um, and then making that decision whether you want to change everything to u's or whether you just want to go ahead and leave those as square root x's. Either way, they're going to cross out. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.